Well, hey, everybody. Uh, I've had a few people sort of ask me about lemur lately or just talking about control surfaces. So I wanted to quickly show why I love the lemur, uh, how it's useful, and why you should probably buy a $100 iPad and get this app. So I'm working on some sci-fi sounds right now, uh, and I found this very good patch on Prism that I sort of modified to my own purposes. And I wanted to show the lemur in action. So here it is right here, and this is one of the stock sort of uh, things that come with it on iPad Studio Combo. You connect it, it's very easy. It comes with this lemur daemon that you connect to the MIDI. And then all these can easily map to anything in your DAW. And one thing I really like about it is you can lock the X and Y axis to MIDI map something in uh, Ableton. So you can ensure that you are for sure locked to the X or the Y when you do a MIDI learn. It's very useful. Anyway, physics are cool because you can do a little bounce effect. So when you're modulating parameters, you're not locked to exactly what's in your head. You get some kind of happy, fun accidents and modulation that's very smooth. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. So you can have a traction where how much it snaps to where you touch. And then you have friction, which has to do with physics and how fast it moves to you. See how it slowed down there. And speed, which is, <laughs> go figure, speed. So think of a modulating different parameters using this sort of thing. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm just going to be using that pad, and I've mapped them to a few things on this. You can see I had the, the feedback and the exciter. Basically, I tweaked a bunch of stuff in this patch until I was like, that's useful, that's useful, that's useful. Found the happy accidents and things that are good to be tweaked in real time. Then mapped them to just one XY pad. You could have all four going, and I will demonstrate that very quickly. Uh, but first, let's just show how it works with some modulation. how damn smooth all of it is uh, and that's one of the benefits there is for sort of morphing slow moving sounds have a fairly healthy slow attraction so I'm going to show you what that looks like so that's modulating all those parameters in a very slow as I move my finger that sort of a way so you can get it to where you want it you just kind of let it modulate on its own so you're creating this evolving drone with one finger just kind of sitting there But that's part of the fun of Happy Accidents. Normally, I'd be recording this output live. Uh, I guess I might as well, because, you know, might end up with something awesome. Uh, and so I'm going to map a few more on the other one so you can see how it works. So you just tap lock one axis and then 
click something that you want to kind of mess with. So now that I have a locked axis, we'll go through these and see what sounds cool. So we want that bend to be the y-axis. So MIDI OS Learn. Now I've mapped that. You right click MIDI Learn, then you touch it. And since it's locked, I know it's on the y-axis. And then you do something else. Off sounds growly and beautiful and I'm locking it so now I've just mapped those two so now I have this Super fun stuff. Uh, you can use it for morphing for anything really, but the ability to have four XY pads with physics that you can lock, map correctly, and evolve your pads and sounds is super cool, very easy to set up, uh, and I highly recommend you get an iPad and a lemur for this fun stuff. Enjoy.